everybody Sandy here welcome to my channel and happy new year this is a project for the country craft creations New Year's Eve crop I'm excited to be back to crafting some and sharing with you this little project this is a 6x6 mini album that I designed I'm calling it a freehand stacked mini album and you'll understand why I'm calling that as I show you how to make it so it's made strictly out of pattern paper um, with the embellishments that I made myself and from the collection that I used, which was Echo Park Salon. You can use a full collection. I actually got two of these little albums. I'm able to make two of these out of one collection pack, but you can also, this style of album is great for your scraps. So if you want to use, uh, make it with scraps, you can certainly do that. So let's do a quick uh, walkthrough of this uh, as soon as I'm done with my intro and I'll be right back to show you this and then we'll start the tutorial. So let's take a quick peek at this little album. It is a six by six. It is only made with patterned paper. There's no chipboard, no cardstock. So it's, it's a real fun little album to make. Holds a lot of photos, uh, depending on how many pages you decide to put into it. Um, it's great for using scraps, though I did use a full collection. Like I said, I used Echo Park's salon collection. And I did make this one, and I'm able to make the other one for the tutorial out of one collection. Um, there's one sheet of each pattern paper, so I only need to cut six inches, so I get two out of each sheet, uh, what I need. So here on the front, I used one of the cut aparts matted to some of the 65 pound white artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations, which is great for matting. Uh, I used some stickers here on the front, and then I made these little flowers, and I will try to show you at the end how to do a, a paper rolled rose, and then just freehand paper flowers and added a jute twine bow here and it has a seam binding closure and this is all from Country Craft Creations. So here on the spine you can see the different lengths of hinges. So this is where the free hinge comes in. You make hinges as you need them. Uh, it's not a set length or anything. Even width can be different and I will show you how to make the hinges and make the pages. So the front and back covers are made exactly the same. Both have a pull out for extra photos with a little tab on it so that's your cover actually has a pocket in it and this uh, comes undone here the little closure it's a double ribbon seam binding ribbon you open it up on the inside cover I didn't add any pockets here this is a great place for a photo I designed this little album because of the New Year's Eve slumber party uh, game night, girls night out. I used this collection because I thought it'd be fun. Like if you're doing makeup or something or you're doing something with the girls or if you've got granddaughters or daughters that are having a slumber party, this would be something fun. You might even have them each make their own for the party and put their photos in. So this is a little, a short page flap here that I made out of the paper. I'll show you how to make that with a pocket here. Added in some of the cut aparts and made a little booklet. Now this pink here is, I think, Cartabella's Bubblegum Dot. I will double check the name and link it down below as I'll link the salon collection down below. Added some stickers here. These little eyelashes are adorable. And then that just tucks in there. And this, these mats are also the 65 pound artisan cardstock. So it's really great that we have that now in the store. So I'll link that down below. I made a pocket out of a cut apart, made a little tag. I will show you how I made this tag. I have a tag punch. Uh, some of you may have that same kind of punch in your stash. They're great to have. If you don't have it, you can still use any kind of tag. This is a cut apart. This flips over. We have a little pocket here with another cut apart matted to some of that bubblegum, pink bubblegum dot. This is a fun little pocket. This is a little string closure flap pocket. I'll show you how to make these little closures. This lifts up, I have a cut apart in there. Here you can see some of the hinges, the free hinges on how to put these pages together. Like I said, it's really easy, quick, and fun, and you're gonna, I think, like it for when you need a quick project or something to, to give. Um, 
left these blank so we have plenty of room for photos. I did put a notch here so that you can tell that this flips open. Photos can go in here in this paper cute. That's really cute. This comes back over, you see the hinge here. Added a little tag pocket. Got a tag in here with some of the stickers. Flip it over this way, and then this one has a little pocket. And I added cut aparts in here sticker right there and then I added a tab onto this one like I did the uh, mats on the covers. Flip this over, photo, photo, and I cut this one short here on purpose so that you can see that there is an extra flip there. Photos in here, here, added a hinge with the cut apart to make this little flap. Stickers here, those cute, the bobby pins, and then of course we have a tag in here. And this flips open. We have more photo space, more photo space on the last page here. And then I made a pocket out of this cut apart, used some scraps to make some corners, and then made this little tag in here. So that just slides in like that. And in the back, I attached the ribbon down with a sticker to keep it all in place. So we'll set this aside and um, We'll go ahead and start the tutorial now, and I'll be giving you the measurements. A lot of my stuff I've done ahead of time simply because I am currently working downstairs in my dining room, not in my craft room. So I made a list of some supplies that I needed. It's kind of hard to, for someone who doesn't craft to gather up all your stuff. So I'm kind of limited on what I have I, uh, to work with. My camera setup is different. I'm filming with my phone. I don't have quite the lighting that I usually have upstairs, but I think it's working. I've got this shadow from the holder. But I think we'll make do, I'll try to fix something else. I'm hoping in a, I think a couple of weeks I'll be um, released where I can go back upstairs. I'm no longer in the boot for my foot and I'm doing pretty good getting around and <clears throat> recovering from my recent hospital stay. So anyway, uh, things are looking better, I think. Uh, for the for cover, we're gonna do the cover, the front and back covers first. We're gonna assemble those. You will need to cut from one sheet of paper, and I did use, because it's heavier uh, cardstock, the uh, bubblegum dot, and you'll cut two that are 12 by six, and you're either going to score it on the 12 inch side at six inch, like that, or you can just line it up, which is really easy if you have limited on tools, and which is what I did on a lot of this, you just line it up to get your center, then you burnish from the center out and you got that. Now, the bottom of each one is going to be the fold. So make sure that your fold is facing you like that. And I'm gonna have to make some more hinges because I only cut enough for one. So I'm gonna show you one, do the both exactly the same. So the hinge to seal this up, these are one and a half by the six. So you cut four, one and a half by six and then you just fold them in half lengthwise and burnish them really good. Okay, then we're gonna take our glue, and I'm just, like I said, I'm gonna do one because I need to cut for the other. You're gonna take your glue, and I just go ahead and put glue on both insides, inside half. My glue's been sitting a bit, so I may have to get that going. So hang on a second. Keep a pen handy to get that going. It's been sitting here for a couple of days. So I guess it finally decided it couldn't uh, not <laughs> clog. This type of gun uh, really works good at keeping it from clogging though. So I'll put the glue on both halves of the inside of this hinge and then make sure your fold is at the bottom. So put this on the sides, just press it in, check your direction of your paper, make sure you line it up at the bottom down here, and burnish. Now then, this is a fun way to make a pocket page because by using hinges to seal it, you get the full width of your pocket available here on the inside and nothing hangs because it's sealed on the bottom. So we'll do the other one the same way. Glue on both 
sides of the inside of the hinge. And the neat thing about these kind of hinges, uh, we're gonna use hinges to put our pages together the same way, but we're also gonna make all our pockets with these hinges. So it's the free hinge system, and they can be any length width that you want. So I could have made these two inches and had one inch on each side. So as you see, you've got your patterned paper, and I didn't get mine on quite even, so let me quickly, that's why I like to use glue, so I can reposition quickly when I make a mistake. My lighting is not quite what I'm used to. There, that's much better, and I'll burnish it down. If you cut it a little bit too long and it sticks out, all you have to do is trim it off. So that is our front cover or back cover. I'll make the other one exactly the same and then I'll be back to start on some pages. Now we're ready to uh, work on our first page here. So I have all these pre-cut and clipped together on what we need. Hopefully I remembered to cut everything this time. So I'm gonna set all these aside for now and show you the pages. Okay. So for this page, we need this, I'm calling a flat page with a side pocket. You need one that's six by 12. So I'm using this print here. And then you're going to score on your left side at two inches and at six. So you could fold it at six like this, line it up and burnish, and then fold about two. It doesn't have to be exact. So if you're not using a trimmer and scoreboard uh, on this, that's fine. And then I did take a circle punch and punch a notch there for my pocket. Now this one, you could make little uh, hinges so that it's sealed up the same way, like little uh, one inch ones and fold them in half. But I'm just gonna take a bead of glue on mine, like I did on my other one, and I'm just gonna line it right here on each short end of my pocket and then fold and burnish that down. Seal those little pockets up. Like that. So there's that page. Now in this page, inside the pocket, we have the booklet, which is cut at six inches by four, folded in half, on the six inch side, rounded the corners. So we have a little booklet like this. We'll do the decorating later. Now I do have one matte cut that is a two, two by three and a half rounded the corners. And so that's gonna glue down in there. I will need to do another one for this side. I didn't get that one cut. So I just put some glue around the edges. You can put photo mat or you can just wait for your photo depending on what size you might want. So that's the mat there. So we'll tuck that in the pocket so that it's in there. And then we need, let's see, make sure it is going to fold in there. One that's rounded like that. Okay. And then we're gonna make a pocket over here with a cut apart and I like this one. May your day be as amazing as your hair. And so this is just glued on the back right side, a line of glue, and then across the short bottom. And we position that wherever you want in your little book or page here. Burnish that down. And then inside that, I have this one. And this cut apart, I like those, like that. Okay, and then um, also in this one, I put an extra tag here. I have it somewhere in here. We'll find it later and stick that in there. So we're gonna flip this over like this. So this folds this away. So this is gonna be the back side, and that's the one that's gonna have this pocket. Now this is smaller than that one, so this one I only cut it at one and a half by the six. So you can cut it any width of scrap that you have. And again, this is gonna be flat. So it's gonna be glue on both short ends. And remember to punch a notch in the center 
of the side that's going to where the pocket opening is. So then we just lay this down here like this, wherever you want, make sure it lines up. And we've got it like that. Now what I did differently on this one, and I did put the hinge underneath it, but I'm gonna put it on top on this one and that's gonna work just fine. So here in this one we have, oh, that cut apart goes with this, yeah. I cut this mat, so the mat is four and a half by four and a half, and then I put one of the four by fours cut apart on there. So I forgot that I did that for that pocket. And I do have extra cut aparts to put in these other pockets as we finish up. So you know, just add in whatever you have, make some mats if you want. So this is going to go right here. Oops, no, it's gonna go in here, sorry like that. Promise my brain's here eventually. This is the hinge that's gonna attach it to the page. So we're going to hang on to this one for now. And I'm just gonna clip it back to the page so that I have it when I'm ready to put it all together, okay? So we lay that aside with that. So we're done to there. So now we're ready to make this one. And this is your top flap string closure pocket page. So let's get all these components here. Hinge. Now for the ceiling hinges of this one, I made them smaller. Paper clip off, there we go. So this one here is another 12 inch, 12 inches long by five and a quarter tall. And then we're going to score on our 12 inch side at four and a half and at 10. So when we fold this up, it's gonna be like that. The short side, round the corners, and on the wider side, on the edge, punch your thumb notch so that when you fold it up, you have a flap that comes over like that. Now we're ready to seal this pocket together. So I made two hinges that are one inch by four. Let me double check that, four and a half. One inch by four and a half. So that's just going to seal up the pocket edge. Okay, so you fold them in half, burnish them, and I'm gonna put the glue on the inside of the hinges. Make sure I'm staying in camera here. I'm not used to the phone setup. And we put it on the side to seal up our pocket. I'm gonna line it up down here at the cut of the fold. And if it overextends down here at the bottom, then I will just trim that off with a pair of scissors. So it does stick out just a little bit. Let's put the other one on. Okay, so after you glue them on, this one came on fine, so I had this one just a little bit longer. It's no problem, you just take your scissors and just snip that off straight, like that. And so that's how you do it if you have a hinge that's a little longer than what you're putting it on. So that makes a nice pocket, like I said, that's open all the way across, and then we're going to do our little uh, closures here. So the next thing we do, is we punch out, I use the one inch circle punch, four circles, and I've already put my stickers on, so I use the little lip stickers, and I'm going to put glue on one plain one, and put the lips on top, and make sure they're nice and even all the way around, and do the same on the second one. Okay. Now to make it so that our string can wrap around easily, I take two scraps of paper. It's about two inches by half inch wide. It can be skinnier. And I put a little bit of glue on this end and then I fold it. Now I may have to trim this to fit on the back of my piece here. Then I put a little more glue, fold it. What I'm doing is making a thick platform for the circles to be glued to 
that the string will wrap around. So we got that. Just let those dry, we'll do it for both of them. So we got two of these. Doesn't matter if the back side's showing or what have you, because you're not going to see this at all. So it can be any scrap of paper. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to match. Just have to make sure you glue it down. So I got this, this one's sides showing, the lips are showing. <laughs> Just keep kind of rolling and folding and gluing it. So it just makes a thick little thing. And if you think it's too wide, I'm just gonna snip a little bit off to make it more square. Okay. Then you take the back of one of your circles, put some glue on it, and glue one of these onto the center of the back of a circle, like this. Let's see if you can see it, okay? I'm gonna do this one. that dry. Now then I took a piece of the jute twine and I have about um, 22, about 24. Fold it in half. And where the loop is, I'm just going to tie a knot to tie the two together. Kind of like that. Loop can be short, big, long, however it comes. And then, where the top one is going to go, I'm gonna put some glue down, lay my strings in it. And then I'll put some more glue down. And I'm gonna take one of these and I'm going to glue that right, the square, just the square, right on top. And of course, you're gonna to have to let this dry. So it has a lift. Take your second one, put glue just on the square, and line it up where you want it to wrap. Make sure my lips are facing forward. And that is that page. I'm gonna let this dry good before we start wrapping it. This is the hinge for the page. I probably will have to trim this down, but this one for now is the six inches by one and a half. Fold it in half or score at three quarters of an inch down the whole length. And I'm just gonna attach it to that page so that it's ready to attach into the book. So that's the flap string closure page, and this is the tag that goes inside there, so I'm gonna clip it to the back for now. Okay, so there's that one. So we've got this one done, flip it over, and we're gonna make this page super simple on this one. So I call this a double flat page. So you pick your paper, it is six inches tall. Make sure you pay attention to the directions of your pattern paper. And this one is only 10 inches wide. 10 inches wide by six inches tall. Score at five inch on the 10 inch side right here. Or fold, line up your corners, fold, and just burnish it in half. That's that page. That's simple. The only thing you need to do is let me find my punch. I have all my stuff in a tote here. So... Rounder, my punch, and pack some of my stuff here. Okay. Got all that unpacked. So I use the one inch circle punch. The front side one, I just line it up in the center. About halfway and punch. So we got a notch so that you can clearly see that this is a page here. So for this one, there is no ceiling of it. We do make a page hinge that is one and a half by four and a half. And you'll see why it's four and a half in a bit when we put it all together. Fold it in half at three quarters of an inch 
and just clip this together. So this one's ready to go in the book just like that. So that was our double flat page. And next we're gonna make this little tag pocket, okay? Okay, another tag pocket. Okay, so we have the tag. Now I was gonna show you, this is the punch I use. Um, doesn't have a brand no, a name on it. I've had it for a while. Uh, it makes the one and a half, two and a half, and two inch punch uh, tags. So I'll cut a two and a half inch piece of paper and just punch the top. And I love how that makes it. So that's how I've made these with for this little album. And then I just tied string. If you don't have one, you can just make a regular tag. However, you can make a tag. It's, it's just fine. For your page base, you need to... There we go, we got two of those. Okay, you need a piece from the lips is what I use that is eight inches long by just two and three quarters wide. You're gonna fold it or score it at four on the long side. So I just folded it and burnished it. Then I'm gonna show you how I do these hinges without scoring them. So these are the one inch wide by um, four inch. So you either score at a half inch on the short side, or you just take it and fold it and match them up as close as you can. Put your bone folder in the center and just press outward. And you've got a nice hinge. Same way with this one. So we need two of this size. Okay. Now then this pocket here has no punches in the top. Make sure your fold is on the bottom and we're going to seal up both sides. So you put your glue on the inside of your hinge on both sides. I'm gonna look at my direction, it's words and don't want them upside down too terribly much. So I'm gonna line it up and burnish that on one side and then on the other. So you can see how easy these pages come together and that you could do this, you know, preteens, teenagers, if they want to do it for a party, could have a good time making a little album for their photos. Or you might want one for your New Year's Eve crop. Let's see here, this one's a little, there we go, maybe. Okay, that's a little better. I'm gonna trim this top right here because I may have had it off a little bit but right there. Okay, so we've got that made. Again, it is completely open on the inside, so you have plenty of room for that tag to stick down in there. Like that, I'm gonna pull my bow tighter. Okay, like that. And this is the hinge that's going to um, attach it to the page on this side. So I'm just gonna fold. And whatever you want to show on your hinge, on your page hinges, is what's gonna be on the inside. So your glue goes on the outside of the page hinges. So I call these page hinges and the others, these are ceiling hinges. Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> so I'll put this right here until I'm ready to put the pages in the book. There we go, so there's our tag pocket page. And our next one is our next little pocket page, which I called a single page with a bottom pocket. Single page with a bottom pocket. Now this one I may do a little bit different than I did in this one. I have to look at it, see what I did. Okay, this is going to be the page hinge. There's our little tab. The tabs, I have this old punch here, I'm stamping up. I don't think they make them anymore. If you can find them used, um, they're very sought after, very pricey. I hope mine never quits working. <laughs> but that's what I use for my tabs. You can just cut a piece of paper and round the two corners and make a tag, and that would work out just fine. Okay, so for this little pocket page, it's gonna have it on the bottom. So you need a piece from your scraps or pattern papers, you need one that is, um, 
I'm sure I'm finding the right one. Three pocket, there it is, single pocket with a, okay. Five and a half, sorry. Five and a half wide by six tall. And then you're going to score on the bottom side of your pattern paper that's gonna show. So I turn it so that the bottom is to the left of my scoreboard and score it two or just fold it up about two inches and burnish. Then you make sure that you punch your notch there. And I went ahead and added a little sticker right there on the bottom. So this is what the pocket looks like. Now mine's a little crooked there. I'm gonna to try to straighten it up some. There we go. That's better. <laughs> now my hinges for this are going to be the lips. So I have two lips or dots. Okay, I have them differently. One's gonna be one side, it's gonna be covered, so that's okay. So this is the dot. These are both the same. They're one and a half by um, four. Yep, yeah, one and a half by four. And again, on these, you're going to fold. Now I want the lips on this one showing on the right side. And you'll see that I didn't get it quite lined up, but that doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it anyway from one to the back. And this one, I'm just gonna fold it like this. The dots, these dots will be covered up. So that's why it's okay if you have a different pattern. Now then, initially I had cut mine so that it would be all the way across, but now I've decided it's easier to just go ahead and seal that whole thing up and it makes a little short pocket there. So again, the glue goes on the inside for the sealing hinges. Maybe that makes more sense to you for the sealing hinges to seal up the pockets. Put your glue on the inside on both sections and line it up over here. See which way I want my lips to go. Like that. Right there. Now this one looks like it may be a little bit long, which is fine. And I'm going to burnish it down with my cloth and get that glue out of there because I got a lot in there. Take my scissors and just trim that off right there, anywhere it's sticking over. And then this one's gonna go on the other side. So yes, it looks weird because they're two different ones. But this is gonna be sealed, covered up anyway with a hinge. So I'm just gonna put my glue inside. A little short on the top but that's going to be okay it's going to be covered mostly so we've got it like that so of course this is going to go inside then I made a punch I put the little fun sticker on there and I'm just going to glue that here on the side just for a different look kind of like a little decorative element I'm going to put the fun on this side here and just line it up, centered. Whoops, there we go, that's better. Okay, there's our little tab on there. So that's that, and this, put this over here. I've got an extra tag here, so let me put this somewhere else. I'm gonna put it in here for now. This is going to be the page hinge, so it is cut at one and uh, looks like yeah one and a half by four, and I want the pink dots showing, so I'm going to fold it this away. Pink dots are on the inside because that's going to be like that. So I'm just going to attach it to it until we're ready to put it in the album. So let's flip this over. Next, we're going to have a short double flat page. Okay, short double flat page. So for this one, you want one piece that is 10 and a quarter, I'm double checking, 10 and a quarter, yes, by five. And on your 10 and a quarter side, 
I actually scored at, oh, it's gonna be this way, 10 and a quarter side. On your left side, if you got a print, make sure it's correct. You're gonna score at four and three quarters so that when you fold it, your print is facing this way. Whoops, almost got out of the frame. And you see this much of a dot. I think I have a little more than I had on this one, but I wanted this, what I call a short page. So that's all there is to that page, the whole page, except for your hinge, which is the eyelashes. That's what I want to show. And this one is one and a quarter by four. So I fold it so that what I want to see is on the inside of a page hinge. So it's gonna go like this. Okay, so we'll just Flip that together and we flip it and we're ready for the next page which is the library pocket page the library pocket page okay so for this one we take a piece that is four inches wide by 11 long so pay attention to your print. This is the inside, and I wanted the floral piece like that to show. So I scored this one wrong initially, and then I corrected it. So I'm going to score at an 11-inch side at 6, so that when it folds up, it looks like this. Okay? Round the top two corners and notch the top of this bottom flap. So this is gonna be our library card pocket. And then our hinges, we have two that are eyelashes that are one inch by five. So fold them so that the eyelashes or the, whatever print you want to see is on the outside. Check it and make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue on the inside here on both sections of the hinge. Okay, now I'm going to line it up with this cut part here at the top, right here, below that tab look so that if it's off down here at the bottom, I can just trim that off with my scissors, like that. Same on this side. this cut edge here so whatever's sticking over at the bottom can just be snipped off so there we have another pocket that is open all the way across like that tag will go inside right here then we're going to put a cut apart on it right here with a hinge so we have a short hinge that is only four inches by one. I'm gonna fold it so that the bobby pins are on the inside. We're going to glue the outer part. Put glue on the outer part of this hinge. So we'll do this side first. And that goes on the back of the cut apart. So this is the top part with the fold of the hinge to the outer edge of the cut apart. Burnish that down. We'll look at it, see if it needs trimmed, and it does. Then the glue goes on the back of this hinge. This is a fun way to make an add-on flap in any album. And we're going to line this up about right here. Nice and straight. Then we're going to open this up, and I already picked out this 
sticker with scissors and flowers. And I'm just going to peel that off. And we're going to stick it like, it says be yourself. So let's turn it a little bit like that. And that's closed up. So there's that page and this is the hinge that's going to attach. So it is five inches by one and a half. I want this to show, so I'll fold it this way. You choose whatever paper you're using, what you, how you want it to show, but this is going to be the page hinge. So we attach that right there. And there's that one We're coming right along. So there's that and we just need to attach one more page. So this is the single flat page here, and it is six by six. Whoops, nope, I lied. <laughs> the single flat page is a five by six. So let me find my pen and change that on my notes so I have it right for you. On the cutting guide, which I didn't tell you, I would put a cutting guide down at the bottom in my description for you. So it's five wide, six tall. And it's just gonna need a shorter hinge. I know that looks a little strange, but we're gonna have a hinge that is one and a half by just five. And I want the bobby pins to show, so I'm gonna fold them in. And I'm gonna attach it right here. Uh, this is what's gonna attach that into the book. So do I have a paper clip? No, I'll put it up. So we'll put these together. So that is the last actual page that you make for the book. And then we're going to make this after we put it all together. And we're going to put our pieces inside. So let's get ready to start putting our pages together. And we'll be finishing up on this really quick. Okay, so for the inserts of the front and back pages, I cut two. I used one out of the bubblegum dot and this print here. So you cut two for your cover inserts that are five and a half wide by five and seven eighths tall. That's what fits in mine. You can measure and see what fits in yours. And then I punched a tab for each one. So this one's gonna go, I think on this one here, and then this one will go over here. Just fold them in half. So I use glue on these, I put glue on both sides. I'm sorry about the shadow. The, we have clouds coming and going, so it makes it a little different. And I just eyeball it and put it on the um, top edge, which is your five and a half wide. Yeah, your five and a half wide. And I just kind of scooch it over till I think it's centered like that. So that's going to go in one pocket. And this one will go in the other cover pocket. thing on the five inch side at the top, just like that, kind of center it. If it looks right to me, I'm happy. You can measure and all that. So we got those. So I put it all together. This is the front. So I'm gonna put this card in the front. So here's the front and the top edge. And they should fit in just pretty snugly there. There we go. The little tab sticking out. So that's the front. Then we have the pocket page here. And you can put them in any order really you wanted to, but this is how I planned it with my hinges. Uh, this one, then we have this page, the little short one, the little short pocket, bottom pocket page library card page, last page, and the back cover. So I'm gonna put this in like this. So we've got that. Okay, let's put it together. 
it's super easy. So I'm gonna start, flip all to the front. We have the front here. Open this one up. We can, I can kind of look at it while you get. So we take this off. We're going to have this showing. So this is the pretty side. And this is folded like this. So we're just gonna work on one half at a time on the left outside hinge. We put our glue. And that's gonna go down onto the back inside of this cover. Make sure the hinge edge, the fold edge goes to the outer edge of the cover back here. Line it up. Don't want it overextending, but you want it lined up just like that. You got your fold. Okay, we're going to put glue on this side of the hinge. We're gonna take this page here, and it's going to, this laying down, this side here, you're going to place down onto the hinge, line it up, burnish it, open it up, and you will see you have your pocket there. This opens this way, we got all of this in here, this pocket, this folds, Gotta make sure this one is not in the way. I think it's a little bit, needs trimmed off just a little bit. This is how I make things work. Just whack it off <laughs> and then repunch that corner. And stick it back in so it should fit in without going into that fold and then that folds up. So this is where we're at right now. Now this is gonna look different because I put the, this pocket on after the hinge. So let's grab this hinge here. And it's gonna fit right over that. So you've got your fold to your right. I'm just gonna put the glue on the back side here. Okay, and we're going to fold to the fold edge of the page, line them up, burnish it down, there we go. So it just makes it look different. See how that one shows the whole green and this one doesn't, but I'm fine with that. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> These little albums like this with all the different papers are so much fun. So next we have this. So on the inside. Okay, open this up and put our little cut apart in. Let's make sure it fits. Yep. That cute with the eyelashes. And then this should be dry enough where we can like wrap it around like this. So, okay. There it is. So there's your pocket. So this is going to attach to this hinge, but be very careful. Open up this flap again. You don't want to seal up this. So this is going to go right here. But we're going to have to cut. And I should have made this one shorter, but that's okay. We're just going to center this. This page is not the right height. So we're just going to Center this. I'm gonna take my pen. I don't have a pencil here. I'm gonna center this so I have about the same amount coming off the top and the bottom. And I'll take my scissors and I'm just going to snip that hinge just up to the hinge and then across like that. Right there and there. better if it's pencil so I could erase it, but it's okay. All right, so now we take this pocket back and we're just going to glue it the hinge. Now, I'm gonna look at it and I think, I think I want this hinge to stop right here.
This is totally optional if that's what you want to do. I'm just going to cut it right there and along this edge here. Okay. Now then, it's just going to cover up and it's going to leave that pocket free. Okay, I like that better. So we put the glue on. Line that up. Yep, right there. And then I'm going to turn it over so I can make sure it's lining up good on this edge right in here. Okay, now then we can seal this up like that. Cute. All right, so now we're ready for the next part. Flip this over. So this one is just a single page with a notch in it. Okay, so for this one, and I got my light plugged in. Yay, so the shadow's gone. Okay, for this one here, we're using this hinge, page hinge, that's gonna cover up the one that's already on there, okay? So on the right back side here, put your glue and attach it over the other hinge with the fold of the page hinge towards the fold of all the pages and line it up straight as you can. Burnish it down. Okay, so then when we fold this back, put our glue on. Take your page, this is the front side, fold, fold it over so that the front's facing down and line it up. Now, this one should match up at the top and at the bottom. There's gonna be a little bit of the page that is not on the hinge and that's okay i'm just making sure it's straight all the way around open this up and burnish it down so you see here there's a little bit of it that is not on the hinge and that's that's okay that's allowed in the free hinge uh, style album so now we have this that opens like this and this folds over and we're ready for the next page which is our little tag pocket. So we have this little one inch hinge here and I'm going to put it on this first like right here. So it's the height of this little tag pocket. So on the back side here putting my glue and I'm going to attach it to the front side of the tag pocket. So make sure I'm lining up my hinges I'm gonna wipe that excess glue off. Slide it down a little bit. It's a little bit long right here. I'm gonna trim just a snippet off. Okay, so it's on there. Now then, this is gonna to attach to this right here. And you can put it wherever you want, all the way down, like about the centered. I put it about half inch from the bottom, so put glue on the hinge. Flip it over and line it up right there. Wipe that glue off. Just make sure you're keeping these hinges as even as possible here and keeping everything lined up. So we burnish this. So there we have it like that, it's cute. So those like that one, close it. And now we're ready to put in our little bottom pocket, short page, short flat page, bottom pocket. Now this one is gonna go over this like that. So I want the dots on the inside, whatever you want on the inside of yours is fine. I'm putting my glue on the back side, on the right here of the back side. We're going to lay this hinge, the fold of the hinge, 
even with this right here, the bottom. I'm making sure it's even on the bottom. It may be a little long here at the top, but before I press it down, I'm just going to snip off a little bit there. Better have it a little shorter than too long. Burnish that, fold this back. Take this page, flip it so that it's facing down so it's gonna glue right there. So put the glue on the hinge. Face down, line it up. Should be the same size. Make sure it's lined up kind of straight here. Okay, right there, and there we have these inside. And if they're a little long, which I think this one is, I'm just going to snip it off a little bit. I don't want it peeking out the top, that's better. And this one the same way. Just like that. Okay, fold that over. There's that page. There's a page in there. And we're ready for this. These paper clips really stick, don't they? They're my office paper clips. Okay, so this one's gonna be the same height as this. It's gonna cover that one up so the right back side of your hinge. And the great thing about these little albums is you can just add as many pages and pocket pages as you want. I mean, it just keeps stacking and stacking. It's a lot of fun. So if you know have your pictures and you want to keep stacking your pages as you put pictures in, that would be cool. That'd be, you know, make sure you have enough pages for all your pictures. Okay, so this one, this is the front where we've got this extension here. So the glue goes on your hinge. Take the page. Now the page is um, different size. I'm lining it up at the bottom down here. The hinge is actually shorter than the page and that's fine just like that see it right there got the extension here and here burnish that so that page is on so when it um, page is on it opens like that then we have the back side and we're ready for this library pocket one so this is going to go here so here's this hinge i wanted this uh, to show so that's the exact size I'm going to check it. It may need just a smidge trimmed off the bottom. Okay. So glue is going to go on the back right side again. Okay. Line it up. Fold side to the outside of the hinge. Hinges, burnish it. I love that border print like that in there. Fold that. And now this side here is going to go like that. So the glue goes on the back of the hinge. And we're almost got everything hinged together. Okay. I'm going to see how this. I didn't check to see if this goes extends over into my little flap. We'll quickly check here. Mm, a little bit. I'm going to have to trim this off just a tiny bit, so I apologize for that. Should have checked that first. I'm just going to cut off. And the reason I use big scissors, I can cut a lot straighter with big scissors like that. Put a little more glue right here. And we'll attach it. So that hopefully removed enough 
to make it where it clears, and it does, but we just need to varnish it down good. Okay, so it goes right along that edge, just fine. Fold that back, fold this one. Then we have one more final page to put in. It's a flat page. So we just need to put this hinge here. So I wanted the bobby pins showing. So the back side again, the right back side of the hinge goes down, fold out, line it up, garnish it in. Okay, last page goes right on top like that. So we have the bobby pins on the back. And we are about to put the back cover on. And I'm running out of glue. <laughs> I must make sure I get enough glue out. Put this on. Bobby pins to the back. And we line it up. And again, this hinge right here has exposure. It's not solid all the way up, but that's the way I planned it. And you can do it however you want, but it didn't need to go all the way up. So when we fold it over, now then our back cover will go on right there. Let's see if I get some more glue. And I'm going to need to cut a hinge. Okay, so I used my hinge piece to make the pocket this uh, the green color here right here so i had enough of this nail polish swatch that i'm going to use that instead on the inside so this is to put the cover on so this is one and a half by six fold in half at three quarters on the short end here and we're going to put our glue on the back side of the right hinge so right here, and that's going to go down onto this last page, the fold of the hinge right along the page, the, all the other hinges here, the folds, burnish that down. Let's see if we need to probably trim just a tiny bit off. a little bit, burnish that on there, put it down too far, burnish that. Now to take the cover and we put the back cover on just like that. So we put the glue on the hinge. Oh, that's right, I needed to get some more glue. So hang on a sec. Okay, so I switched out my glue. I couldn't get my tips changed, so I'm using a super fine one right now, but that's okay. Just get plenty of glue on there. Okay, put the cover on. Make sure we're lining it up on the bottom, on the sides here. Okay. So the album is all put together. Making sure it's lucky. There we go. Okay, burnish that in, and we have it all put together. This part here needs to go back. This, I was wondering where that string came from. <laughs> okay, so now we have it. The front cover, this one here, I'm just making sure nothing's stuck down where it's not supposed to be. There we go. So now we're ready to add our closure ribbon. Um, we also need to put a, uh, if we want, we want to, can put a pocket on the inside cover here, right in here, like I did on the other one like this. So I just need to look at my cut apart, see what we've got. So that's kind of cool. It goes, matches that. 
So all you have to do is just put your glue across the bottom, the sides, okay, and then attach that down wherever you want to put it on there. Put it down kind of a little lower like that. And then burnish that. So now we have a pocket. Oh, I forgot to put my notch in it. So I'm going to just do that real quick before the glue dries. If you want a notch, remember to do that before time. So we got that. So this one, I put corners on it. Um, let me grab, I don't know if I have any scraps of paper that would work. Got the green. Okay. So what I do to make corners is I just cut a square with this plaid that's easier to do. Cut two squares and then cut them at a diagonal to make your corners. So that's just for decorating. The black showed up better, but this will work. So we just go ahead and glue those on. So they're just for looks, they're just decorative. Then we'll find a cut apart tag to put inside the pocket. For the ribbon closure, you need two pieces of seam binding ribbon about about 40 inches each, so we'll have plenty to tie. And I'm going to line them up together down here on one end and tie a knot. Measure about half around so it's even. Okay, right here we're going to take some tape. We're going to hold this down. So I put the tape here. This is where the cut apart is going to cover that on the front. Flip it over, I taped it here, and I'm gonna cover it with a sticker here on the collection to hold the ribbon in place. And then we flip it back over. The two pieces that are not tied in a knot on the back side, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot on the ends. Turn that off. And then we can tie the album cover. And now we're just ready to pick out what we want to do to decorate the front of the album. So 
So I'll double mat a cut apart like I did on this one, pick out a different one and add some different flowers and stuff and that will be finished off there on the front. Okay, so this album is finished uh, on the front. I matted this cut apart to the white 65 pound cardstock, added this border strip here, this eat sleep contour, the lipstick sticker, the flowers and the perfect. So I like how that looks like that. So I'm gonna make some flowers like this and a string, jute string a bow. So let me get some string real quick. And you can buy this in lots of different colors at Country Craft Creations. And I just like to wrap it around my fingers a couple of times, stick it through, and then pull the tail up underneath the string that's just wrapped on itself like that. If I can get my fingers to work right. <laughs> and then pull this and then go ahead and tie it again in a knot in the center to kind of secure it. And that gives me my little bow and I'll trim the ends some, kind of even them out. So that's ready. So now I wanna show you how I made my little flowers. So the first one is this little blue one and I just, took a circle and this because I don't have any of my tools here so I have a lot of glue cloth here and a pin with the tip not out and I'm just going to kind of make a circle with it the best I can you know kind of crinkle them up I didn't glue them together I'm gonna glue it just a little bit in the center. I don't want a lot of glue on it, but I want them to stick together. And I wanted the, the blue colors showing when it's wrinkled up. So I just kind of start pinching it with my fingers, kind of get it a some shape to it. And then press down here in the center. Of course, it does work better if you have a, the flower mat and the tools, the stylus, but this is to show you what you can do. If you don't have all your supplies with you, what you can make. Now to make the center of this, normally you would glue some prills in there, but I just took my black pen and scribbled a circle in the center, kind of, uh, mimicking this little flower in the sticker and then put dots all around it to kind of make it look like that center. So just keep pinching it. Sometimes I like to fold it up a lot to try to get that more of a shape. Like that. Fold it this other way too. Just a lot of folding and manipulating, trying to get them. Of course, when you glue it in with the other flowers, it's gonna look more like a flower. Keep pinching it up. There we go. A little more pinch there. So you just play with it and get a little cup looking flower like that. Okay, now I'm gonna set that aside. Now this one here, I don't have a punch down here with me. So I just took my um, scissors and I wanted the pink, darker pink color. And I just started cutting little oval petals kind of around this square, like in the circle shape. They don't have to be perfect. I know this looks kind of funny. <laughs> Not a very pretty flower, but I got like five petals there. Again, I take my cloth and I'm just going to press down in here. Get that kind of rounded shape like that. 
and then I kind of bend these petals back a little bit. And put it in there again. And like I said, once you glue it down, it looks more like a flower. Now I need a little um, center. And so I was trying to mimic um, just a lighter flower with a different color center. So I'm gonna look for a circle punch here. I don't have a small punch, but I do have my, let's see. Hang on a second. I got my We Are Member Keepers trimmer here, and it has a punch on it. I know this is a little overkill, but I want a little tiny circle in a different colored pink. I think this is the one that'll do it. Got me a little circle. <laughs> like I said, most of my tools are upstairs. So a little dot of glue in the center. And then I just put this little paper punch and just a slightly different colored pink right there in the center. So that's gonna be a flower there we go we got those then we need the rose we've got this here so i cut this strip here that i punched so i'm gonna trim that off <laughs> so i just start with uh, about a half inch strip a scrap of paper and i'm just going to put a dot of glue or some glue right here in the center and I'm just going to roll it the best I can with my fingers, kind of get a rounded roll going. And roll it up. And I kind of let it loosen up some. It don't, doesn't have to be real tight. If you see this one here, it's kind of, kind of comes apart. It's not glued together till the end. And I just keep rolling it. And if I have to add another strip, I will to get it the size I want. Okay, so we've got that rolled up. And I'm going to go ahead and put my glue on. And I'll let that attach. I'm gonna have to hold it for a minute. I kind of squeeze it in. Okay, now I want some different um, edges. I want not just straight up, I need some wavy. So I'm gonna cut some more from this scrap here. And I put glue, I'm gonna use this end here on this to get it started. Just play with it. I know it looks kind of kind of weird. So I'm going to like glue that on and wrap a little bit of it around. Okay. Then I just started kind of like folding it down some and putting some glue where I pinched it. Like right here. Bring it back up, get that pinch in there like a petal would do. And then kind of, just kind of crimp it down. Just like that, see how it kind of folds out like a petal? And none of them ever turn out the same. <laughs> no matter what I do, they they're always a little different. I'm gonna put some more glue here. Just 
kind of bring this up. Fold it in. I want to put glue under this fold here. I don't know if I'm making any sense for you or not, but just kind of keep twisting your paper and pressing it in where the glue is. And then I'm going to just snip this off here and finish gluing it. Okay, so I kind of let them sit and dry and I keep pressing in on it to get it the way I want it to look. Kind of, and you could do several of these if you wanted to. You could press this more up like that to get that higher look like that. So, like I said, they always turn out different. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna put a little ink on these petals here. Kind of give them a little definition to some some little dots in there like that and then I'm gonna crinkle it back up okay so let's put this rose on first so I'll put a lot of glue on the bottom of it and I'm going to put it about I think right here press that in I'm going to put the blue one on the side, put some up on the side of the petal so it kind of pushes in like that. And then this pink one's going to go right there. And this is how you make flowers and then you just crinkle them up kind of push them in to make some flowers for your book like that. This one didn't come in as good. I want it a little more definition there. Okay, right there. And then we take our jute string bow and I'm gonna put the glue right here. the strings out a little bit there we go and we're just going to tuck it in right in there with the flowers so i'm going to watch these as they dry and kind of push them in a little more like that so there it is there's that one and um i'm not going to show you on this one because i'm letting that dry but this one here i did it on both of them I wanted to use up all the cut aparts. So over here on this page here, I just took a scrap of the paper, made another hinge, and glued the uh, six inch four by six card here and made an extra flap in this, this book and also in the other one. So I did them the same. And that's just showing you that you can add extra flaps as you need to for your pictures or for decorations. So I used up all of the pattern paper from this collection to make these two books. And I love how they turned out. I hope you'll give it a try on this free hinge stacked album. They're super fun to make, really cute. Any collection would be adorable. Use up your scraps. You could mix some and do it that way. And I think my camera kind of slipped, so I apologize for that, but there we go. <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're having a good time, a uh, fun time with this uh, New Year's Eve weekend crop with Country Craft Creations, all the fun projects by the designers. The theme was kind of a slumber party, pajama party, game night thing. Um, so you're gonna see game projects, different things that you'll be able to make throughout the year if you don't make it for, for now. Um, 
and I wish you a very happy new year for 2024. And as always, shop at countrycraftcreations.com. Um, this projects are in the free New Year's Eve crop for Country Craft Creations Facebook group, but you can also always find it uh, on my YouTube channel. It is a public video, so it's not exclusive just to the crop. It's available to everyone. So you'll always be able to find it on my channel or you'll always be able to come back and find it in that uh, New Year's Eve crop group. Uh, it's Country Craft Creations New Year's Eve crop. And um, the projects are just continued every year when we have a crop, New Year's Eve crop. And so you can always go back and check them all out. So thanks again for watching. I will hopefully be doing some more projects soon for you and catch up on that tunnel uh, pop-up book that I was doing in the... Uh, Prima paper, I can't even remember the name of the paper collection, but I'm gonna be doing the Harry Potter, the uh, Magical Adventures or whatever the name of it is, I can't remember for Country Craft Creations that I had received before I fractured my foot and then went, had to go to the hospital for some blood clots in my lungs. So anyway, had a fun two months, <laughs> but I'm glad to be back to crafting and I, wish health and happiness and joy to all of you for the coming new year. So see you later. Bye-bye. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back to the Barefoot